Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. It's a beautiful May. This is actually, I think, May 2nd. And uh, David and I are over here getting the wires put in for the bulls. Uh, they're coming this way and uh, found a bunch of trees. The last storm we had blew down some big old dead trees and got the trusty steel chainsaw and we're actually going to have to fence around an area down in there. Um, it's so thick and there's so much stuff that we're just going to take poly wire and put in a double double wire. It's, it's not even going to be hot. That's the beautiful thing about having animals that are trained to hot wire. Um, this is a little bottom that uh, fastens on to one of our other farms. There's a hundred acres in here and I would say there's probably close to 15 15 to 20 acres down here that's got grass these little bottoms and then there's a uh, about 10 acres or so up on top uh, up around that old up around the house site but I wanted to show you something this is a uh, this is an area that we got some lime on and uh, it's such an uh, a mean place to get a big round bale to you got to come down that steep hill over there in the winter time and that hill can get pretty slick um, we haven't fed any hay on here but we did lime it we were able to get a lime truck uh, down this hill in the summertime it was of course hot and dry and uh wanted to show you something here so this this got limed and it got a little we came back and put i think it was around 60 pounds of phosphorus uh, the ph on this was extremely low full of moss and broom sedge it didn't have any grass on it and uh but i want to show you the difference so capture this in your mind this is lime about three tons of the acre and this was put down um not last summer the summer before last so this has had a year so it's, it's starting to do some real good and then you come across over here in this other little paddock we cleared this last year it was just briars and um oh it had a bunch of little hickories a lot of cedar tons of thorn trees it, it's just a a rank little piece of ground um, but we cleaned it and uh, when I cleaned it we uh, brought the uh, the Johnny mobile Johnny <laughs> you can see the trees that he pushed out over there out of that field he had a skid steer in here and he pushed all that out to show you, you gotta walk over and just look at it to, to see to see a good comparison. In other words, where I'm going with this, folks, is we didn't lime it. it. It got the time of year we just couldn't get any lime on it. It's kind of a mean place to get back into, and it's starting to rain. We need to make tracks out of here pretty quick. We're going to get wet. I want to show you this field. You got to look at it up close to know what I'm talking about. Um, we cleared it and we, we did feed hay on it. We're, we're able to get, I believe it was three big round bales in here. And you can see, I mean, it's still pretty tough shape. This was brush. There's the brush over there. Um, there's some more brush. There's a whole bunch more up here on top of that hill. So this is your first step. This is what you can expect. I just wish I could have gotten lime on it. But we didn't. Hopefully we will in the future. But you can still see the, the turkeys have been in here scraping scratching up the, the litter. This is the old hay the cattle didn't eat. And uh, so it's got some worms in there. Here's a nasty stove. 
I mean, that is a solid, solid stump. Whew. Sure wouldn't want to hit that with your brush hog. There's, there was a lot of brush and stuff on here. But the, the owner really wanted to take this back and, and get it back to a field again. And so we did. Here's another sign of acidity right here. It's a wild, wild strawberries. There's a lot of dewberry vines in here. Can you see that viney dewberry type stuff? Wild strawberries. That's a sure sign. Yep. I'm just gonna see if there's any earthworms in here. See, that's how poor, there's one. Yeah, so they're coming, but uh, yeah, we got some work to do here. We'll, we will get some bales on it again this next winter. And it, it's only going to get better from here on out. So when you got some really poor ground and you've got a, a little enough funds to get, you know, two to three tons of lime on it, boy, I'm telling you what, that will really jumpstart you. It may save you eight to ten years of where you can grow grass. It's that big a difference. You saw what I just showed you across the creek here. And then I showed you right here. Okay. It does make a difference. This is one of the biggest oak trees on our farm. And I think it was two years ago. It lost this whole front of the tree. Wind took it down. I'm going to show you how big this tree is. And don't you all laugh at me out west, because I know you all got monster trees out there, but for Rucker, that's a big tree. I don't know how old that tree would be, but probably around 300 years. Just a massive, massive tree. But anyway, rains are coming. Kevin, or David's got our wire in, and he's over here to pick me up. We're gonna hot scotch it toward the truck. But we're gonna get soaking wet in about looks like maybe five to the next five minutes. It's gonna rain, David. <laughs> I was worried when I didn't see you. I was like, uh-oh. No. I don't know where he disappeared to. No, I'm going to show the difference between lime over here where we limed it and put it in a little phosphorus versus. Makes sense. Versus that over there. That's not. I mean, you can even visually tell the difference. Yeah. Even from here with the trees. Yeah. That, that's still yellow. It just doesn't have any dark green to it yeah. like that does over there. Or this in front of us. Well, guys, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. We'll see you next time.